Today we're playing trivia where every question you miss means eating one of Vat 19's famously spicy foods. Will our contestants' tongues mess with their minds? This is Spice Trivia. How are you two feeling? Well, Eric, I know a lot about nothing. I pre-treated it with some Pepto. Let's hope it goes well. If you pick things in my wheelhouse, I will dominate you. No 80s cartoons and no WWE today. However, we do have movies. Movies, okay, 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 okay. Gentlemen, you'll notice your first item is the gummy fireworm, a two-foot worm of increasing spiciness created by Vet19. You are going to have to eat a section of the worm going all the way up to the Carolina Reaper. An entire section? Yes. Are you trying to kill us in the first round? We've got replacements for you, Andy. Are y'all ready for question number one? So ready. What recent hit movie had this quote? When I found out the patriarchy wasn't about horses, I lost interest. That was me. That is Ryan Gosling in Barbie. That is correct. Jamie, I'm sorry, but now you have to eat the first bite. I did see that movie. Oh, this section is big. I know. What's the spice level? It's jalapeno, right? Well, that's a good amount of kick, but it's not terrible. They're really good, though. Just savor it while you're still on that first spice Mm. level. Um, fun fact. I invented this product. I'm not giving you any bonus trivia points for that trivia. So I'm moving on to question number two, another easy peasy one. Who voices Groot in the Guardians of the Galaxy movies? Vin Diesel. That is correct. (laughs) Andy with a second correct answer. Why would you hire Vin Diesel to do that? (laughs) Gotta get that star power, baby. It's very spicy, but some of the best orange gummy I've ever had. Prefer you toot your own worm in private. Here we go. Question number three. What was the first feature-length animated movie and the first Disney movie ever released? I know that one, Snow White. That's right. We got one. I knew that too. I knew that too. The producer is telling me he has to eat the ghost pepper section. I missed one question, a question that I knew, a question that everyone knows. Who doesn't know Snow White? Sorry, dog. Life's not fair. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, oh, he's he's angrily throwing it around. There we go. It was child's play. Really? No, it's actually, it's like a media. (laughs) It's pretty hot. (laughs) It's pretty hot. This one's for the Carolina Reaper section. What was Marilyn Monroe's real name? Uh, Norma Jean? That's correct. Yes! Oh my gosh. Where did I pull that from? Is that an Elton John song? This song, come on. Goodbye, Norma Jean. Goodbye, Norma Jean. It's blue raspberry. Mm-hmm. Which is delicious. Ruined with Carolina Reaper. It's so hot. Another piece of trivia. Jamie has met the creator of that pepper. Oh, oh it's hot. hot. I'm already pretty miserable. Round two. The worm is out. New food is in. Get this off my plate. I'm spicing right now, Eric. Oh. I'm spicing. On to round two, and next up, music. Really? Yep. No, oh man, I'm not good at music. I do not have the song in my soul right now, Jamie. I am dying up here. You're going to be eating the spicy Reaper pickles for every question you miss. Question one, what uptown artist wrote the CeeLo Green song, Forget You? Billy Joel? Incorrect. (laughs) Jamie, your chance to steal. That sounds like a clue, does it not? I think they're thinking like the song Uptown Funk. Mark Ronson. It's either Mark Ronson or Bruno Mars. I'd go with Mark Ronson. He has more so. of a- Here we go. Three, two, one. Mark Ronson. It was Bruno Mars. Ha! Screw you. Gotcha. Screw you. Yes, screw you. I knew it was Bruno. No, I didn't, but I'm glad you didn't get it. I was going to be nice, but now it's take no prisoners, <laughs> no mercy. I hope you throw up on this set. I hate pickles, Jamie. I know. We both have to eat it. That's a lot kick. (laughs) This is not good. Question number two. What year was Taylor Swift born? 1989, December 13th, 1989. Andy has a little bit of an advantage on that. Why is that, Andy? Because my birthday is also December 13th. So there's no chance for me to steal by also saying 1989. (laughs) (laughs) Mmm. 1989, mm, Bruno Mars. Mm. And Jamie, you're going to be all over this. Okay. How many members are there in BTS? 
seven? That's correct. Oh, oh it's all because of Kelsey. Kelsey loves BTS and she won't let me forget it. It's so spicy, Eric. That's the name of the show. Oh, that one was a lot higher than the other ones. Oh, no. All right, next question. Boosted by remixes, what 2019 song was number one in the... Old Town Road? That's correct. What the yeah. hell is going on here? What kind of cheating is happening? He didn't even finish the question. All you gotta hear is remixes in 2019 and you didn't get Old Town Road? Boomer? <laughs> <laughs> oh, son of a gun. I'm sorry, he deserved that. Oh, he deserved oh, that. oh, oh, there you go, bud. <laughs> Let's see what type of game this is. <laughs> These are brand new Steve Maddens. Uh, oh my gosh, my nethers are soaked. Me too. Now you both have to sit in uncomfortableness. That was actually quite refreshing at this point <laughs> in the game. Oh, get it out of here. No more pickles. What's the category, uh, Eric? Jamie, I think you're gonna like this one. Science! Come on! Yeah, science! And if you miss one, you're gonna eat those wings covered in the dynamite moonshine hot sauce. Question number one. What is the heaviest land animal on Earth? Hippopotamus. Incorrect. Jamie, a chance to steal. Elephant. Elephant is correct. See, I thought it was a trick question. Hippos are pretty big. They are pretty big. Elephants are clearly way larger. Yeah, I thought it was a trick question, David. Oh, is it hot? Was oh, it making you uncomfortable? That sucks. I prefer you stay as quiet as you were during the music round. Oh, okay. <laughs> Compared to the pickle, I'd actually say it's a bit of a step down. I'd say that this is a bit of a break for us, but that is still dang spicy. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Question number two. What is the name of the immediate conversion of solid matter to gas without becoming a liquid? Oh. Yeah, I think you got it first. Gasification. Incorrect. Sublimation? That is correct. Dang it. <laughs> Dang it. That's a pretty tough question. There we go. <laughs> there it is. There it is. There Hello. Is. Oh, wow. I feel like this is tumbling around somewhere inside my body right oh, now. No. <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go. Although it's not the closest to the sun, what is the hottest planet in our solar system? I think I know this, but I also... Andy. Mars? Incorrect. Jamie, chance to steal. Mercury. Incorrect. It was Venus. Mercury <laughs> is closer, but Venus traps the heat more. Oh, God, mine's dripping with hot sauce. Look at that. Look at... Uh, <laughs> it's, it's dripping. Good nug. I think I've reached a healthy plateau, Jamie. You've reached cruising altitude. I can take it at this level of pain. <laughs> All right, question number four. This is the final question of this round. We're staying in outer space. <sighs> outer space. How many phases of the moon are there? 12. Incorrect. Dang. I have no idea. I'm not into this hippy dippy stuff. Hippy dippy? It's like I'm a Sagittarius, Aries rising, moon phase on Saturday. Whatever, I'm gonna say four. The correct answer was eight. Dang. Halfway never... in between. Moving on to the next round. This next one's gonna be brutal. If you've noticed, the punishment has changed. Yeah, it's the death nut. It is the terrible. Death. It's a rough one. I've never had this one before, it's... so I think I'm in for a tough surprise in front of me. Well, you don't have to eat one. If you know all about geography. Word, okay. By area, what is the largest country in the world? Russia? Correct. Oh, dang it, I should have said Russia. Thank God. Oh, what? Word up. Oh, I gotta be honest. I have pepper favorites, and I find Carolina Reaper to be the worst tasting of the hot peppers. I don't know why. And they're like, oh, it's fruity and chocolate, the guy who invented it. I mean, we were there, Eric. <laughs> yeah. And we were like, is it? Not a fan of it. No fruit I ever ate. <sighs> now though, I am getting a little bit of a fruity note actually in the end there. Maybe he's right. Question number two. By area, what is the smallest country in the world? <laughs> Vatican City. That's correct. What a, what? Vatican City's a country? Yes, it is. It's considered a country the way that Applebee's is considered a sit-down restaurant. <laughs> you know? Oh. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, that was tough, Jamie. Sorry to hear that. Question three. <sighs> Hope you know your capitals. Oh, no. What is the capital of Alaska? Jamie. June. Dang it! Juno is correct! Dang it! Dang it. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, we got it. Ah. It's like the spice is inside of the nut. Oh, God. He's just gonna shake it off. No, I just need to move on to the next question. So, all right, here we go. Next question, Eric. Question number four. Which continent surprisingly has the largest desert on Earth? Good phone a friend. Oh boy, he's got his phone a friend. He's phoning a friend. Here we go. He does get one phone a friend for the episode. Can I steal? (sighs) Yeah, you can steal if his friend doesn't know. Snee, you there? Hey, bud. My friend Snee here is a bar trivia champ, and he told me going into today's game that his number one category is geography. Here we go, Snee. Which continent surprisingly has the largest desert on Earth? We got I know three you seconds. From home, and I know you're sitting right in front of a computer, but don't Google. Three seconds, Snee. Two. You, you said it. Okay, Asia. Asia, Snee, and Andy is incorrect. No! Eat that peanut! Jamie, you have a chance to steal. Can I phone a friend? Phone a friend! I'm going to let you go, Snee. When I get home, you're going to hear from me. Bye, Snee. Come on, Brad. Pick up. Hello? Brad. Yo. I'm phoning a friend. I need your help with this trivia question. Oh, oh my gosh. All right, all right. What continent surprisingly has the world's largest desert? I was thinking Antarctica. Hey, Brad, remember that time that Jamie canceled plans really, really late? You be quiet. Three seconds. Three. Yes, Brad. Two. Uh, there's not a bigger one in Asia or North America or South America. What about Australia? Jamie, you gotta give me an answer. Antarctica's my final answer. Antarctica is correct. Oh, yes! <laughs> All right, thanks, Brad. Bye. Oh, oh how's that peanut? Oh. <laughs> it's so bad. I know, it's very spicy. <laughs> I feel like I'm going crazy up here, Jamie. <laughs> We're down to our final round. No! No, 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 no. No! No! <laughs> I hate this thing. That is the toe of Satan about the hottest thing you've ever put in your mouth. I'm going to call an audible on this. What? We're doing this one Eric style. I'm going to have y'all, when I start the question, you have to put the toe of Satan sucker in your mouth. What? If you answer correctly, you can take it out. What are you talking about? Until when? Until the next question. You're the boss. You say if that's okay or not. You know, if you're okay with it, I'm okay with it. (laughs) Wow. (laughs) The gauntlet has been thrown. Are you accepting Eric's rules? Yes. All right. Eric, this is horrendous. Oh, I know. You better read these questions fast. Good content, though. When I say go, place the suckers in your mouth. Wait, what's the category? You'll see. Go. The category is candy. In which country were gummy bears invented? Mommy! That's correct, Jamie. You can take it out. Oh. Question number two. Well, okay. <laughs> what type of chocolate was not actually classified as chocolate until 2002? White chocolate? That's correct. Take it out. Oh, why did I swallow the saliva? <coughs> yes, question, <Eric. laughs> question three. He's coughing so much. Hurry <coughs> up! What candy had the iconic slogan, sometimes you feel like a nut and sometimes you don't? Oh, no, no. Payday? Nope. Nope, you're both wrong. It was Almond Joy or Mounds. I would have accepted either. Hurry up! Have to keep that in your mouth. (laughs) For the final... Get that back in! For the final question, Milton Hershey, the founder of Hershey's Chocolate, nearly lost his life in what famous 1912 disaster? Oh! 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 A blimp blew up. A blimp blew up is incorrect. A chocolate explosion. A chocolate explosion is incorrect. It was like Titanic. Oh, Oh, God. Oh, it's so terrible. Oh, Oh, God. I drooled all over my favorite Voltron shirt. (laughs) My lips hurt so bad. Oh, Eric, you're such a jerk. As you can see, there are no winners in Spice Trivia. (laughs) 
See you guys. I'll be here. It sucks. Come back to my bar anytime. That19.com.